So imagine a deep sea diver who just suddenly got turned around, doesn't really know which way is up, but it's daytime. And so that means the surface is lighter and further down to the ocean is darker. The only way to get back to the surface is to very carefully look around and see you know, which, which section is light, which section is dark. Or imagine someone climbing up a mountain and it's just covered in fog, but at the summit of the mountain, the sun is shining. So again, the only way to see which way to go forward is which is light and which is darker. And this is an image used in the book, The Divine Milieu, about our progress in the Christian life, that the summit of the mountain, that the surface of the water is what God is leading us to, and um, the water or the mountain. I'll just use the water image just for consistency, so I don't have to say both. Um, the water is the world. St. Ignatius of Loyola says that everything in the world we should use in as much as it brings us towards God, we should not use in as much as it leads us away from God. And so the point of it is you have to discern at each stage, you know, where are you? What is the next step? And this leads to um, dangers of comparison. Usually we just think about the danger of comparing ourselves to others, um, but there's also the danger of comparing ourselves to ourselves. So first, a comparison to others. So whatever might be my next step might not be someone else's. You know, like if I'm comparing myself to someone who's like way farther back than me, what's light for them is actually dark for me, because once you step, make another step towards the light, now suddenly where you were is dark. Or if you're comparing yourself to some saint, you know, the austere penances they do is not your next step. That might be like, you know, 50 steps ahead. And so that wouldn't be helpful at that point because you're not prepared for that. So comparing ourselves to others, not so great. But even the second one is comparing yourself to yourself. So, you know, once you take that next step, what, what was behind you is now dark. What was behind you is no longer helpful. And so even comparing yourself to where you used to be is still not good. It's always about what's the next thing that needs to lead me closer to God. So an example for me, my first year as a missionary, I just didn't really take breaks all of that much. I didn't have a concept of holy leisure or rest or things like that. I didn't work on Sunday. That was true. Um, but beyond that, I, uh, I didn't really rest all of that much. And so the next step for me was to finally start doing that. And so one of the things I did is I got back into a few of the video games that I uh, used to play in college. And that was good. That gave me some sort of downtime. So I wasn't working constantly. But a few years later, those video games started to become less and less fulfilling. They were less and less meaningful, less and less life-giving. You know, all of the stuff that leisure is supposed to do, they were not doing very well. And so I fought with it for a while, but eventually was like, you know, I think I need to give them up and then find a different hobby. So I've turned to reading now. And so what used to be helpful for me is now no longer helpful. And that's true of lots of things. It could be, you know, certain forms of devotion or prayer or you know, there's lots of things. So as you're making that those next steps and those next steps, you're always asking, you know, what is that next step, um, rather than comparing yourself to others or even to where you used to be.